What type of formula di or diagram gives the most information about a substance, a molecular formula or a structural formula? So this information is going to be in your notes that are entitled Structural Formulas and Isomers. These number three and four and five are going to help you if you look at those notes. Another thing that for you that you could actually do is notice this is a, I'm going to write the structural, excuse me, uh, this is going to be your molecular formula. And then here is your structural formula. What information is going to give you more? How, how do you, you need to, you're looking for the most information. So hint to you, the stuff that shows a structure is going to show you the more information. So I'm going to move quickly on to number four. So we've got C4, H11N. So as a reminder, an isomer is just like an isotope in the fact that it is something, it's the same but different. An isotope from last semester was the same amount of protons but a different number of neutrons. An isomer is the same molecular formula but a different structural formula. So as long as you draw this iso this uh, molecule with following the Honk 1, 2, 3, 4 rule, you will then be able to have an, one of the isomers. So I'm just going to put hydrogens all around here until I am leaving one space because I've got one nitrogen. So I'm going to put a nitrogen here. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We still need two hydrogens because we have 11 hydrogens here. But check it out. I've got a nitrogen right here. This nitrogen only has one bond according to the, the Honk 1, 2, 3, 4 rule. There's going to be two more hydrogens there. And there's going to be a lone pair. So that would be the one, one isomer. Another isomer would be if I move this over. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do four carbons. I'm going to put some, make sure every carbon has their four bonds. I'm going to put hydrogens around here. So because now we're not going to put any nitrogen on that end carbons because we've got a nitrogen on this end carbon here. And then I'm going to put a nitrogen here and continue putting in the hydrogens. Still got the same amount of hydrogens as I did before I put that nitrogen there. We've got nitrogen. Um, we've got nine hydrogens and one nitrogen, four carbons, and I've got two hydrogens with that lone pair on the nitrogen. This is a different molecule than this one is. So I, if I, so this is considered to be the first. This is the second carbon. This is the first carbon or the end carbon. Here is your third isomer. So you've got two carbons, knowing that nitrogen actually needs to have a three bonds, we can put those three bonds between, that is just like how you were working on your honk one, two, three, four rule, so that assignment that you did. So here you have it on the second, here you have it on the first or the end, however you want to frame it, and here you put it between. So I'm going to put, I'm only going to do three bonds about that nitrogen, I'm going to do those lone bonds, lone pairs, excuse me, and we've got some hydrogens all coming around here. And here we have at least three isomers. There is a fourth isomer. I'm not going to draw it for time's sake, but the, those are the three isomers that you would be able to draw. Um, on the assessment, hint, hint, you only need to be having to draw two isomers of a molecule. So number five, explain how a substance of a molecular formula C5H10O2 can have two different smells. Use the words isomer and structural formula. Do you think that these two have, these both, all three of these have different structural formulas, but they have the same molecular formula. That is an isomer. I'm not going to go into detail about number five. That is something that you can look back to your structural formula and isomer notes. You can also look to your Honk 1, 2, 3, 4 rule. So if you um, are wanting to have full credit for this question, one thing you could do is look at your picture of the three isomers that you just did. 
These three will smell differently. The reason that they have two different smells or three different smells is because they are structured different. Similar to the analogy that I mentioned to several of you. If I give you 10 logs and 10 nails and some glue, I get 10 logs, 10 nails and some glue. We were both going to have the same amount of stuff. We're going to build a house. They're all going to look differently so or smell differently. So that's going to be your number five. So there is, um, at least for the level 2.5, you need to get one through five correct on the assessment.